Hi, welcome back to Geared Mind. On today's episode, we review the 4 Controls Design URF. First of all, a couple of house cleaning things before we start. Megiddo Tactical Group. You can head on over to mtgtactical.com and use my coupon code GEAREDMINE to save you 10% or sometimes more. Holidays sometimes roll around. You may get 15% off. So go ahead and check it out. They have tons of gear, accessories, clothing items, you know, for the tactical-minded folks. So head on over to mtgtactical.com. Dot com. Second of all, this awesome shirt we got here, that is from Spearwolf Holster Works. This is from a Memphis uh, holster maker. Uh, he's a good dude, Hans. Thank you for the shirt. And I love the back here. It says, make your own safe space. It's a cool hashtag for the Instagrammers out there. And it does get Instagrammed. So he's awesome, and you ought to check his Instagram. He's got tons of pictures of what he's done for other people, and he, you know, send him a, uh, drop him a line. He's got a website uh, coming soon, and you might get some neat shirts like this on the way. But also, uh, his email address is in there. If you want a holster, you can shoot him a line as well. So what is a URF anyway? Oh, is it an alien? No, it's not an alien. Oh, it's a disease, isn't it? It's not a disease. No. It actually stands for Upper Receiver for Controls Design. So it is for Controls Design's take on an upper receiver. Roger likes his acronyms, what can I say? But this is the specimen that we're discussing. So this is actually, if you're acutely aware, a billet upper receiver and there are several reasons for that and we'll get into in a moment but this is based on cross machine tools urpr1 which is upper receiver precision rifle one and that is the model with the ford assist so we'll get into the more details about that and i do want to take a moment to say that i was sent this by ford controls design to take a look at and review so I just want to make sure that you know that. So this is how your URF will come shipped to you. It comes in a plain white box with the Ford Controls logo, same as you see right here. And inside bubble wrap is the URF. And as you can see right there, it's a nice looking upper receiver. In fact, I would venture to say it's pretty handsome. So, as I said before, this is based on the Cross Machine Tools URPR Mod 1 Billet Upper Receiver, so inherently it has some of its characteristics, except for the few things that are changed. But first, let's go over the specs real quick. So to compare the two, I have a Aero Precision Forged Upper Receiver, and we're going to compare the weights between the two of them. Now, the Aero Precision does have the ejection port cover and Ford Assist already in it, so that will add a little bit of weight, but we'll get a good idea between the two. So 8.43 ounces for the Forged. And the billet URF, 
9.03 ounces. So that's about 0 0.04 ounces between that and what the standard uh, was on the website. So that's pretty minuscule as far as that's concerned. So here is a close up of the etched T marks. They look great. I really dig that. I'm sure they're not the first uh, people to have it, but this was the first time I've ever seen this actually done. And, you know, that's across the entire front there. So here's where the differences come in from the cross machine tool design to the URF's design from four controls is the section right here. This is number one. And I'll get it closer here so you could see better. It's these chamfered marks right here and here. And that's actually designed to make it easier to flip up your backup sites. Now that may seem pretty small, but let's say you're a professional door kicker or maybe you're running a timed uh, shoot right here and you're reenacting that your main optic went down and you've got to get your backup sights almost immediately. That would make uh, up, you know, hundreds of a second, if not more. And that can mean you uh, won or lost or, you know, didn't make it home that day. So if you're a professional door kicker and you have the opportunity to use billets, I don't know. But I think that's a, a nice added value for... Uh, for the money it really doesn't even cost anything extra and if anything it just takes the weight down some so you can use that as a, an added benefit but I think it does you look uh, pretty cool it just adds some aesthetics but indeed it does have a function to it so it would be easier to get your thumb under there or your finger to flip up your backup sights so the other section besides this right here that is has actual material removed is this right here. You can see right there. And that actually has a little bit more utilitarian value, in my opinion, than the flip-up sights because many people are running a large Raptor-like charging handle. And as you can see right there, there's material removed which would allow a better, stronger purchase, getting your finger further down where it's stronger in the knuckle area for pulling it back if you so choose from that side. That may not make much of a difference to most of us, uh, but again, if anything, it's material that's removed that uh, removes a little bit of weight. And as they say, ounces equal pounds, pounds equals pain. Nobody wants to carry around a 20 pound AR-15. And what also might help if four controls has a narrower uh, Ford Assist. So that kind of coincides with that. And I think that's something that Roger had intended in the first place was to make the smaller Ford Assist and take that material out to make it a you know unique and fit a specific need or at least a one. And again it really probably doesn't cost anything to take that material off and you have a little bit lighter upper receiver. So bonus.
So I've got my SBR lower and throw the URF one there. Test the lock up there. And as you can see, the lock up is great. And aesthetically, it works fantastic. Of course, it looks really great with the ABCR and EMRA from Ford Controls. Dimples. Love those dimples. And, you know, I think it's a great looking set. So, this is probably primarily what most people were going to have, especially if you've got an SBR. You probably just uh, did that with a standard forged lower receiver. And so it looks pretty cool with, with that, and it locks up. So I know a lot of people are big sticklers about how much wiggle an upper receiver has to a lower receiver. And that's a big benefit of of billet is having tighter tolerances and not as much wiggle but it's even nice to see that it does that with billet and then forged so let's try it on a billet alternative in fact almost looks like it belongs there doesn't it well, this is a cross machine tool lower receiver and actually, this will be a build all of its own. A hint, hint. It fits. It looks great. Again, lockup is fantastic. It's a Ford Controls parts as well. There'll be separate reviews on the small parts for Ford Controls shortly. Um, I can't say good enough things about Ford Controls. They're my favorite uh, aftermarket parts. <laughs> Uh, castle nut here too for four controls and the URF has a great lockup looks great uh, at home on forged or billet lower receivers so are these two differences necessary options necessary is it necessary for me to drink my own urine no not at all but other than their intended purposes they do shave off a little bit of weight and if you're looking for a billet upper receiver, you'd be hard pressed to find one that this quality at this price, which is as of this uh, video, 192 on the Ford Controls Design website. For a stripped upper receiver, there's a lot of value in the Ford Controls Design URF and definitely worth looking into if you're considering billet. Now, choosing between forged or billet, that's another conversation for another day. But hopefully this has been helpful and has answered some of your questions about the Ford Controls URF. So if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your buds and pals. That really would help me out a bunch. Also comment uh, what you liked about the video, what you want to see next, or how awesome this shirt is. Go check out Spearwolf Holster Works on his Instagrams. I'll have that somewhere down there below and check him out. Tell him I sent you. Also check out mtgtactical.com. Use my coupon code GEAREDMINE. Tell him I sent you. And of course, if you go to Ford Controls Design, let Roger know that I said hello and that I sent you as well. It would really help me out a lot and it helps me get the content out that you want to watch. Subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you actually get notified. And thank you for subscribing and watching this video. It really helps me out a lot. And we'll see you next time on Geared Mine. I walked the wrong way. Don't worry, Mr. ATF. It's on my uh, registered SBR. Pew, 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 pew.